What do we have? Presents! Oh man! Presents! Where are these from? Oh my goodness. All right, so let's get to the unboxing video of the box here that I got from Aquarium Co-op. This box here that I got from Aquarium Co-op, clearly we can see that this is a Fluval light. This is a brand new light from Fluval for plants. And you may be asking yourself, why do you need a light with plants? Well, maybe we should open this box here and find out what's going on. Let me grab my, oh yeah, that's right. Peep that knife. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open and then we can figure out what we have in this box. USPS does a phenomenal job at delivering packages to your front door uh, with a lot of character, uh, especially when you live maybe in a slightly rural area of Texas. Uh, but this was damaged and this was damaged and it's no fault to Aquarium Co-op, uh, this is actually way it ships to uh, a, a business or retailer when they purchase it. Uh, so it is in its own shipping box. It's, you know, sometimes shippers uh, aren't the best of the best uh, when they do things. But let's go ahead and take a peek of how it looks when you order from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, because I, I've never done that before. I've never ordered from Corey. I never, I never ordered from his store. Um, I got a hat and t-shirt a while ago um, that I rock and very comfortable hat by the way. But I'm going to try something that we'll talk about here in a moment. I'll kind of leave it as a cliffhanger, but I'll walk you through. Shipping error, send us an email, um, which is really cool. So they're saying, you know, just contact the company first. Let them know how everything went if there was an error. And right off the gate, I really enjoy doing this with one hand, by the way, is very difficult. I do enjoy the little note. Just you rock, it's got a fish, and you can see what I ordered. So this is what I'm really excited about because I've never ordered plants before at all. So I've got some dwarf a chain sword action going on here, nice and moist. Uh, let's see what else is in this bad boy here. Um, and I, I'm not very good pronouncing some of this stuff, so I have no idea. It's almost like it's a Sagittarius. Let me look at this paper to get the uh, idea. Yeah, Dorf Sagittaria, so Dorf Sag uh, for short. And so you may be asking like, how did you know? I'll get to this in a moment. How did you know what to order? Um, I didn't. Uh, I wanted, I had a specific uh, vision in my head and I reached out to a friend, Bob Steenfot, and I said, uh, hey dude, quick question. I wanna do this in my tank. I understand that this could be a silly idea, but I still wanna try it. And then I've got some Anubias to rock and roll inside this same aquarium. So let's see these bad boys. So I got quite a bit of the dwarf sag, the dwarf sword, and some Anubias, and let me show you what I wanna do. Boom. So the idea is I want to plant this tank lightly for the Trophius and really just set it off. I'm gonna uh, glue some Anubias down and I'll show you that as I put them in the aquarium. Not this video, this is more of an unboxing video, but you can kind of get an idea. I'm really going to try to blow this tank out of the water, figuratively speaking, with some just epic rock work and then some nice lush greenery. Maybe the, the fish could have a little snack every once in a while and then that could be how this tank looks. And I think it's really going to give it some nice contrast when I add some really nice greens. Uh, and the reason why I thought about that is because I'm looking at this vivarium that I haven't started. And I don't know if you can see this one, but Super, super lush happening in here. The greens, it just looks really nice. Lights off for the day, smells good. So I'm hoping I can replicate something very similar in this aquarium. So let's get to the next unboxing of an item from Aquarium Co. Home to get those plants. Um, the first time I received plants, so everything is definitely moist. Everything's intact. They are in small uh, pots, so I'll 
take those out and get those planted. I also picked up some Easy Green All-in-One Fertilizer. Uh, this is just gonna be for low to medium uh, lit tanks. Uh, it's safe for snails and shrimp. I'm gonna put it in the aquarium just to help out a little bit. I think it'll help uh, slow the algae down if I remember correctly. Comes with a nice little pump. You can see that guy, that betta is doing its thing. It moved from the kitchen to there. So now let's get to the aquarium light. This is gonna be a little weird because the box is very long, but we're gonna figure it out and we'll walk through it real quick. So let's, uh, let's light this bed. The way. normal lights that I use in my aquariums, I wanted to offset one of those lights with a plant growing light. And yes, I do watch some aquarium videos on YouTube. It is very hard sometimes, especially with all the things you're trying to complete in life. But I do watch them and I watched an unboxing video um, and a review on the new light uh, from Fluval. And it's the 3.0 plant light. You can get it at Aquarium Co-op. All the links will be in the description for the stuff I got. Not saying you're gonna replicate it, but if you're looking at the light, he does have a lot of cool information and he's a hobbyist. And what better way to support somebody than to go directly to their website. So let me pull this completely out of the box, but you know, it's, it's, the, normal, it's the normal packaging of, of really any high-end light. Uh, and I would consider Fluval to be a higher-end light. It's gonna be weird. So here it is in all of its glory. Uh, the cool part is, is I'm gonna have some plants in, so that's why I wanted to try it. I did some research. I tried to find some information from hobbyists themselves talking about what light they enjoyed the best. This light does have an app, whether you have an Android phone or an iOS device. It has a 24 hour cycle. It's programmable, 6,500K, just shy of 60 watts. This is a 48 to 60 inch light. So what I'm anticipating is the actual light bar itself with the lights is 48 inches, but it's expandable up to 60 inches. And then I'm going to take these off and add one of these in one of my current lights, uh, current USA Pro lights uh, that I just really enjoy. So this was because I was nervous about the plants and was told that this is the light. This is the bee's knees. Um, it's got some pink, blue, cold white, pure white, warm white. It, it really, I think it has two modes if I remember correctly. It's got a Lake Malawi mode and then it has a planet mode, which I have not yet checked out. This is a simple unboxing video and let me plug it in if I can. Take it out of the, the plastic here. So let me take it out of the plastic. Let me get it hooked up. We'll turn it on and we'll blind ourselves. So right off the rip, uh, opening it up, taking it out of this plastic, I noticed two major things. One is this is a very, very, very well-made light in the sense of, oh, this is why it was changing. It's a well-made, I'll show you that in a second. Well-made light, it's, it's nice and sturdy, it's heavy. And one of the greatest things that I can say about this is the power cord is freaking long. There are too many times where we buy aquarium lights where we have to either purchase extensions or figure out an extension for ourselves. But absolutely kudos to Fluval uh, for having a long extension on the power block. That is super huge. So a capacitive button Capacitive meaning a little bit of electricity from your fingers helps to make this bad boy change. But I mean, you can see all those colors. I'm gonna let you look. <sighs> I'll tap it again. We got the blue. Tap it again. We got a little bit lighter of a blue. And then off, on, super, super bright. Tap it, just really cool stuff. And of course you could do all the programming via the app, which I'll show you here in the next video when we do the full on review. So, so far out of the box, really robust light, very heavy duty, an amazingly long extension cord, which I'm really, I think I'm more excited about that than I am anything else. Awesome plants that we got right there. Um, we've got our fertilizer, the, the easy green all-in-one fertilizer. So look, if you're looking for a new light, 
I'm not saying that this is the best light. What I am saying is so far out of the box, I'm really pleased with some of the things. In, in the previous worlds of, of Fluval's lights, I was not at all, <laughs> Liam's excited. I was just not at all excited about any of their lights, but feeling this light, very, very, very well built. I like the metal housings, that's why I love Current USA. Uh, the capacitive button is a very nice touch. The brightness is absolutely insane. I like the two modes of, of actinic lights, and then I'll play with the app and we'll talk about it later. So go to Aquarium Co-op, check out some amazing things they have on their website. I don't get anything for it, nor do I want anything for it. It is the main fact of supporting somebody with an amazing goal in the hobby, which you'll see soon in an interview that I did with him at the Aquatic Experience. But more importantly, the customer service was absolutely out of this world. I got the plants that I needed for this aquarium. I got a light to offset the other light that I'm gonna be putting on here. I added a little go green action just to, I don't know what I'm doing, but mainly just to protect myself if it's gonna help with the plants. I want them to stay alive so that the fish can eat them or enjoy the lusciousness of their green. I'm rambling. Stay tuned to a full review video of this light with more reviews coming from the lights and then a scaping of those awesome plants. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, tweeting. You know the whole thing. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't, check out the teaser video that we did with the Aquatic Experience. That's going to be a ton of fun. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Do something great. And as always... Stay bright, homies. <laughs> you know what's next. Hi!